everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. This is happening directly after episode two of the Duelist. So if you haven't seen that one, please hop over and check that one out. There's no real relation between these two, but um, you know, if you want to go check out that one, go check out that one. Anyway, so we're going to jump straight into a mission today. Um, but first we're going to actually do a couple of minor things, I guess. So we're not really first, uh, whatever. You know me, uh, brain going multiple ways at the same time. All right, so first of all, Wavern made some changes on this thing um, after the last mission so let's have a quick look at this guy because we picked up some half decent stuff on this um, on the last mission so um, we were having major problems with heat sinking with this thing now that's been resolved so we didn't get enough clan double heat sinks because we had a 180 core in here before which was minus which is like minus three heat sinks so we only got two clan double heat sinks and I'm like ah oh, crap we can't do anything with it but we picked up a 200 core so I dropped a 200 core in here, so I only need two double heat sinks, which is awesome. So now um, we're still having problems with heat, but not anywhere near as much as we were. Uh, I dropped the medium laser in this arm and put in a medium uh, pulse laser. I dropped also, also dropped the small laser, put in an ER small, and yeah, I know we're cranking up the heat with these, but once again, we don't necessarily need to fire them all, but we just have the option. Took out the LRM-10, put in the 15. We only have one ton of LRM ammo still. I didn't get any extra LRM ammo, so we're we're stuck with eight about eight turns of firing. But I'm okay with that, I think, because this guy's probably gonna by the time he gets into battle is gonna be closing with the enemy anyway at that point. So we can get using all our all our pulses and stuff at that point in the SRMs uh, more often or more over than having to use the LRM from distance. Anyway, that being said, too, I also got a mask in here. Um, this I believe came off of the thorn that we put into storage so I put it in here I figure this will give us a nice little boost every once in a while to get pick up a little speed um, to be able to get into combat a little faster and I also put the clan active probe we picked up onto here so we should be able to detect things a little better uh, we've got the clan um, uh, standard cockpit and um, fire control system in here as well giving the pilot slightly better chance to hit and that's it for the waiver and everything else just stayed the same we just repaired armor and replaced stuff the thorn we lost the side but we did have a er large and a medium laser left over from the other thorn so i just replaced those along with the heat sinks and we're back to where we were which is great so um that's done let's go to the command center real quick or not command center barracks sorry I already know the mission we're going to take. So let's have a quick look at our pilots here to see That's if there's fine. anybody that can raise some skills up. So I picked up Outcast as an extra vehicle pilot, which we're not going to worry about right now. No, wait. Outcast was piloting our vehicle, correct? Was she not? I'm pretty sure she was, right? Yeah, she was piloting the warrior. Okay, so we got some points here to spend. So let's go with gunnery and tactics to get better sensors and a little bit better initiative. And who else do we have? Dragon couldn't do anything. Smirk, uh, we can. Let's go with... What are you piloting again? The Sentinel. I'm going to go with Guts. I mean, we could save up, but I, I like to get these fours, at least fours across the board here. Um, getting the injury and melee resist is always nice to have, so let's do Training that. Um, I don't think Sourbug was piloting anything, right? Nope. And then Tugboat uh, is our commander, or sorry, is the Locust pilot. Technically still the hey. commander, but uh, we need gunnery for sure, so we're going to be cranking that up. Drink That's it's just going to be default gunnery for the next little bit, maybe a little bit of guts. But uh, Viragio we just picked yes, up. Um, so we got a little bit of points for her. I think we go to... I have no idea what she's going to be piloting yet. She's just going to sit until we get another mech for her because I want to try and stay with, this, with the current pilots that we have. She's the bondsman that we picked up at the end of the last episode. So um, let's go Guts. Well, let's actually leave it for now so we're not ex expending a little few extra sea bills on her. Uh, and then Wrangler, we got nothing. So let's go to the command center. Now, I want to take this one today. Um, it's relatively simple. It's just a straight up capture base. Most likely it's going to be one lance. We'll drop on top of the base, capture it, and then we'll face one lance most likely. Hopefully it's half decent challenge. Um, it'll make the battle, battle go a little quicker, I think, today. And hopefully we can pick up some half decent salvage. Now it's against um, uh, local government forces. So, you know, 
Technically, we're supposed to be fighting Clan Smoke Jaguar, but once again, you're never going to find the missions you want on the planets you want. So we'll just say that we're fighting um, Smoke Jaguar here. So let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full salvage, obviously. Still doing pretty good in the Sea Bill uh, area. So let's bring down our main lance here. You, you, switching these two around. And then the Cyrano. And then we've got... Who's piloting what here? Dragon is on the Wavern. Smirk is in the Sentinel. Outcast we know is going here. Uh, Tugboat was going in the Locust. And then who do we have? It's Wrangler, right? Is on the Thorn. Right, perfect. Actually, let's just, we better save this. I know I said I wasn't going to do it in the last, in, um, in, let's confirm this. Uh, let's make sure we got it here. Yep. I know I said I wasn't going to do it in um, the last episode of The Duelist, but I think I can do it for the Royals. It'll probably be fine. All right, let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. So we know this map. We were just here. All right, let's engage these guys again then. The same location. We're going to drop right here. Let's do this. Thorn might be in trouble there, I don't know. We'll see. Um, looks like a modern operational military base to me. Does to me too. Oops. Wow, that's a uh, lag spike. Alright, now, uh, once again, like they're probably going to come from this side, knowing this map fairly well. So let's um, not give ourselves too, too much of an advantage, but let's pull back a little bit. We got a fair number of ranged fighters. Okay, so this, the thorn is actually fine. I, it's standing right on the edge here. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to be in trouble or not. It's good to go. We're going to pull back here for now. Locust is really the only one that needs to be in close. Affirmative. Everybody else can just kind of like hang out back out. here for now. Wait and see what's happening. Um, yeah, go to the trees. Let's set up a firing line. Why not? Uh, put you there. Put you there. Copy. Let's get up a little higher so we can spot people a little Confirm. easier. And now this should probably be. Heads yep, up, here we go. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so they're not coming where I thought they were, unless they are, and I don't see them. Which could very well be the case. Um what? No. Uh okay, so if they are coming that way, actually we want to do this first. Now we can just... I'm going to get into here. They should protect us from anyone over here unless they have LRMs and these guys should have a hard time seeing us. So we'll, we'll pull okay. in there. Yeah, we do. So they are over there. It looks like it's vehicles. Alright. Okay, what do we got here? Mantis, Galleon, Rocket Launcher, a Hunter. That eh, might just be the three. Orders. Definitely going to have to, like... Yeah, we're not going to hit these guys if we go. Um, I want to get that rocket launcher. He's probably... As soon as he moves, he's probably going to shoot, so... Let's see if we can get a shot at him. Ah, man, it's a rocket 80. Hopefully he has to fire from extreme range. But that thing's brutal. Like, at low level like this, that thing is just a death sentence to most light mechs. And this Mantis, man, it would be nice to, uh... It would have been nice to grab some parts off this guy for the, um... The Duelist. But I still haven't... Like, I'm, I'm recording these episodes in advance. So I still haven't seen the comments about... Being able to trade items with the other, uh... Uh, we better not stack each stack ourselves up here. Um, trade items with the um, like between the royals and the um, let's go here between the royals and the duelist. I don't know if we can, if we're gonna like trade items or what. Should probably stay away from it, but we'll see. All right. Ooh, nice shot. When large lasers connect. 
Uh, you would probably fare the best against that uh, galleon, so I'm wondering if we... Mm, let's stay at range. We don't have that much armor. But we have, I mean, the pair of AMSs would definitely help out a little bit anyway. But I think we go against this guy. It's fire on the matches. Got the tag on anyway. Okay, Hunter. Nice, Gary. Damage is minor, Commander. Receiving you. Okay, Wavern. Um, let's just go here and see what we're up with. At least we got our fun. Uh, finally, got our proper colored skin. The last battle was a different colored skin. Um, yeah, let's stick on this guy. We have a better chance to hit. We gotta pull him down, he's getting close. So let's just fire at him. Alright, a little bit of damage. Here comes the rocket launcher vehicle. If he doesn't fire, he's dead. Because I will gang, I will gang up on him. Unless he decides to drive the opposite direction like that hunter did last time and just take off. Nope. He's going to fire it all here, too. Shit, he's getting pretty close. Alright, so he did go after the, uh, Cyrano. I think he'd probably fare the best simply because he's got five chevrons of evasion. Fire. He's got a little bit of a height advantage plus the AMSs, which didn't really help anyway. I'm here. Alright, so this guy is done, right? He is. He's got a pair of machine guns left. So let's, um... I gotta watch my back at this hunter here. I do want the side of the mantis though. ER mediums and ER smalls. It's not bad loadout. It's still front though. I want a side shot. That's not bad. But I gotta be careful because I don't want that hunter to get up on my uh, backside here. Alright. Fire it all. All right, a little bit of damage. I'm okay with that. Yes, Commander. All right, buddy. Um, 24%, huh? Well, we're going to move over here because I want to try and line up this guy and that guy just in case I miss this guy. We might be able to hit the other guy. I copy. A whole lot of nothing. That's a miss. That's a lot of miss for 15 yes, tons. Yes, Commander. So I don't mean, like, like, I don't mind Gauss Rifles and stuff, but it's like, if you can't, at lower levels, if you can't land them, you know, I, 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 I hate having to just, like, hold out for that one time where you get a good shot off on somebody. Oh, I would rather, way. like, have, like, an Ultra 2, even, and hit, like, once or twice. Affirmative. Or even an Ultra 5 would be better than a Gauss Rifle. Just giving it that little extra chance to hit, you know? Alright, that's a miss too. Okay, here comes the Hunter. What's he doing? What's he doing, buddy? Nothing, he's leaving. Order. Fine by me. Yo, man, get the fuck out of here. Let's not get too close to him. Not in the thorn, anyway. Not with anybody, but... Let's fire on him. Copy that. Nice. Keep landing something. Okay, so that heat's not too too bad. I mean we can't do much more Heading out. than that. Let's do this and then we'll probably get in the mask next turn. So we want the large pulse up. ER small can come off. Let's leave the SRM off for now. I know we're going into overheat here, but how warm is that? That's pretty warm. But I want to crack something here. I want to hope I get that torso. Let's fire this. Got it. Okay, we crack something. Probably the torso. Yeah. So let's see what he does. Both these guys go on eight, so... If I had to wager, I'd say the Mantis is going to go after the Locust with a melee attack, but we'll see. 
Oh, well, what are you up to? No laser attack. Sure. I'll take that. And then the machine gun, uh... Machine gun Doogie Hauser rocket launcher vehicle is going to come up on us now. That's actually not a bad... Like, if you can get one of those rocket launcher... Is this a, a scorpion, right? No, a galleon. If you can get one of these early, they're actually not that bad. He's running. I've used them before. I had one before. And at low level, it's just brutal. It's brutally... If you can get it behind an enemy mech, it's brutally devastating with this rocket launcher 80. What? No. It's like 480 damage if you can get it, right? Let's get over to here. Advancing, I guess. He didn't want to melee me last time. I don't think he's going to melee this time. So, we've got enough to crack this nut, so let's do it. Oof, see ya. Target pacified. Waiting for order. Pretty much gave it to us. Can I get a hunter? Anybody? Let's get up here then. It'll let me shoot down either one of these alleyways, so we'll get up there. You. All right, Dragon. Um, probably jump farther than we can sprint. No, both the same. Confirmed. Okay, Hunter's the big threat. Actually, what's the shot in the galley? Let's just maximize our LRM. So it is the Hunter. Okay. Got it. I'm interested to see what that. Um, Commander. What the uh, what's his name had. The Mantis. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get up here. Well, you're better at mechs. Give me that. Failed to connect. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, let's chase down the guy that's threatening. Hopefully, we can get the tag on him. Get inside those LRMs as well, so he's a harder time hitting us. They're not clan LRMs, so. Firing at enemy nice, at least we hit him for the like most minimal amount of damage. <laughs> the thing does 30 to 50, and we hit him for 30. That figures though. Ah, oh, he's gonna be able to get away and shoot us. Oh, he's not. I thought that turret was the 360. Maybe it's not in the Hunter. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Hey. All right, let's uh, go this route. Get on this guy. Let's go from the backside. All right. I think we might just leave the uh, Cyrano and this guy to hunt this guy down. Maybe the Thorn. Because if it, I, I maybe it's hey. the map. I don't know why he's going this way, but nice. Good to go. Got past the armor. All right, we're going to slow down a little bit here. Keep on this guy. Keep that tag going. On it. Well, at least we hit with a tag. Got something you want done? I do. What do you say, buddy? Position confirmed. Think he can crack this nut. Firing on target. Ah, oh, man. It's so, it's, I don't know. When you're, when you got a really big weapon, like a Gauss rifle or an Art Ultra 20 or something like that, not on a vehicle, but like I'm talking about a mech. So you've invested time in putting the thing in, the space, getting room for the ammo, like everything you've done to get it to work in the mech and then have a garbage chance to hit. And just, it just feels like a waste of space, which is why I don't like heavier weapons on lighter mechs. Now, if you've got a really experienced pilots, right, then sure, go for it. Or if you got tar good targeting computers. Oh, he tried to ram me, did he? Sure. Took burn damage, though. Yeah. Ready for orders. Wait, there was a direct line of sight here somewhere. Right there? Sure. Roger. Roger. 
But you know what I'm saying, right? It's like you like you invested the, the time and whatever. Let's go all out. Maybe try and kill him here. Confirm. Into getting it to work right, and then it just, you know, you spend the entire match missing with it. It's like 15 tons of wasted space. I'm here. I guess with this one it would be um, 17 tons because it's got two tons of ammo, right? So it's like you're just wasting okay. 17 tons of unused space. That you could have put like a bigger laser or multiple lasers or an ultra oh, five nice. or something that gives you more chance to hit. Come on, kill him! Let's go! Let's go! He didn't expect that. Standing by. I'm sorry, but her voice for that is perfect. He didn't expect that. I got him! At first I used to hate that Russian woman's voice because she was always so negative, but now it's just on, hilarious to me. Shooting from the back and hitting the sides. Receiving Cause you. that's how we roll. I copy. I should have sprinted. Ah well, whatever. My mech's in the way anyway. Knowing me, I would just shoot it in the back. Okay. I will sprint with this guy though. Uh, let me take the shot. Still got the Cyrano. That's a locust kill, so let's not do that. On your there we go. Beautiful. Although I guess I should really, I, I should be more confident about her because she seems to hit a lot with the lasers, so on low percentile. Beautiful. We got time for one more. Mission successful. All right, seventy thousand, not bad. We shouldn't take that much in damage. It was really just the Sentinel and the Cyrano, I think, that got hit. But lots of hunter pieces, mantis pieces. So ER mediums would be nice. LRM fifteen, claws. See what I mean? It would be nice to grab these. I wonder if we should try, well, I don't know. I was going to say, what if we should try to put together a, um, oh, we got more LRM ammo. It's weird that I'd be taking LRM ammo, but, you know. Um, I wonder if we should, yeah, see, I still don't know if it's going to be okay. <sighs> Endo, I think we've got in, we've got, we have it in all the max, plus we have two extra. And none of them belong to the duelist. So the mask. I mean, we, we uh, maybe we, we, we I don't know if there's room in the sentinel though. Mm, let's grab that. To grab the mantis pieces, sure, why not? And then one other thing, like a medium laser, probably ER medium. Or if we're going to grab the Mantis, maybe we make a melee mech. Let's grab the Claws then. We might do it eventually if we get enough pieces, but we'll see. Alright, got the 300. Or we actually, we got everything. Don't know why I was waffling. We got it all. Alright, four machine guns. Let's uh, hang on to those. Armor can go. Basic cockpit can go. We'll hang on to that. Standard fire control systems can go. The heat sinks we'll hold on to. Basic sensors can go. Structure can go. Trace ammo I will hold on to for the machine guns. And the rest, yeah, we just keep. So we got another vehicle, which is good. Okay, so seven grand, three days. We're gonna take the time to repair. Uh do I need to I don't need to adjust anything. It's really just the sentinel we're fixing. So three days of fixing and our pilots will be back. Okay, um the trial is over and you have proven yourself the ways of the clans. One is a bondsman. Oh, so I'm guessing that's interesting. So I guess when we do duels, we can acquire bondsmen. Because I didn't advance the timeline from the last duelist episode. And at the end of the last duelist one, I didn't advance the timeline. We played the Royals, and then when we finished with the first match, I advanced the timeline and got this. I assumed it was from the Royals battle, but it wasn't. It was from the duel. That would make sense, and I'm sure you guys have probably already corrected me in the comments by the time I record this. But I'm going to say affirmative. So so this is Struit, or Surit, who I'm sure is going to end up in the, let's say affirmative. Right? 
and say continue. Now I think in the hiring hall we should have another pilot. Let's have a look just to confirm. Um, no. We do not. Although I'm probably going to have to get another vehicle pilot eventually. Um, we do not, which is interesting. So maybe Viraggio wasn't added. Um, they don't just show up in here, do they? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have room for one more pilot. Right, seven of eight bursts. So it, they would have shown up here directly if we had acquired them, but we didn't. So I'm going to have to look into that and see. Maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Maybe it's just a, um, maybe it's just a, uh, what do you call it? A, a flavor thing could very well be. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and advance the timeline a couple more days here. Get the Sentinel back. Job's done. And then we need, still need to get our pilots back here one more day. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, Command Center. Let's take this one skull battle here. Now, which one got replaced? Did we get another duel? We did not get another duel. Maybe we'll get one here. That's It's going to be the hardest thing to get duels. So, like, I'm going to have to save before the financial report. And then run the financial report. This will this will repopulate. And then see if we get a duel. Because I had to do it with the, la like the last time. So it's going to be, and then just have to keep reloading until we get whatever the first duel is. We just leave it and we take it, which is what I did last time. But uh, we'll have to see. But anyway, let's just do this one right now. So Jade Falcon forces have been scouting near Wolf Control Land. Um, whatever it is they found, we don't want them to have it. So it is, we're going against the Jade Falcon. Okay, perfect. So we're going against the actual clans this time. Full salvage. Let's drop the same. And let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, so I know this battlefield fairly well. Um, Time to get paid. So I guess they've removed completely your... Oh, they got two lances. Oh, this could be really bad. Uh, it's 10 against 5. Well, let's see. The support lance might be less. Um, so I guess they removed the... the um, the spawn immunity to stop people, I guess, from spawning like as close to the enemy as possible and like being immune to being shot at and stuff. I kind of get that. Kind of makes sense. Um, so we're going to be in a tight battle. Either we have to choose the upper level and try and win a long range battle, which I don't think we're going to win versus the clans. Since a lot of their weapons are long range. Or we have to outthink them, which knowing me is going to be extremely difficult. Um, so I wonder if we start... We can get back that way if we have to. I'm going to start a little closer to them. I'm going to start in here. Still behind the hill, though. That'll give us the option to be able to get into some of these mineral fields. Ooh, they're well spread out, and they've got elementals. Okay, so there might only be two. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it might, it might only be two. They got a bandit though. Um, C, that would be nice. ATM 9. Okay, these guys I'm not worried about. We can stay away from them. Zora LRM. Huzar. That was the name of the mech I was trying to remember before. This thing's got no armor, so that should go down relatively quickly. Miss Link, this is going to be scary if it gets close. 336 armor, so not bad. Cougar Prime is one of the... Okay, he's missing a pulse laser. So I think he's the guy we want to focus first, most likely. The bandit's got chunky armor. I want to wait till it gets a little closer, see if we can get around behind it. Um, or sorry, I guess it would be beside it, because we're not going to hit it if we attack it from behind. <laughs> ah, it's a running joke. Anyway, um, this guy's got lower armor. I want to try and save as much of this guy as I can. Zoria's actually I, I, I kind of like these things for starting for starting vehicles they're great because they just sit them back at long range facing the enemy and just pepper the crap out of them this has got like like 40 rounds I think it's got 20 slug and 20 uh, uh, cluster okay 
I don't think it's... Yeah, I think we'll be fine here. Not fine, but... Um, how do we want to do this? Field command to start. Mm, do I want to pull them out? Like, going down this way is a mistake. Right? They get, they get flank shots from both sides. So we need to choose... I think we go this way. I think we trail I think we challenge the cougar, but let's do it in a way where we're protected. So let's get into the trees here. We may have just picked up another mech here. Hang on one sec. We did. Um Incubus. So they do have ten. Howler. LRM five. Almost no armor. Twenty ton light mech with an LRM five. It's probably really fast then. Oh, Incubus, this guy's got to die quickly. What else do we have over here? A thorn. Two lasers and an LRM-5, most likely. So that's five and three. Okay. I don't like this. Sounds like another vehicle. Nope. Howler, okay. We're gonna lose our AMS real fast. Ready to get it on. All right, funny guy. Ooh, do I wait and let them go and then try? And yeah, you know what? Let's reserve. Let's reserve him. I'm actually shocked that these guys are this slow. Yeah, hopefully, th hopefully that means they're novice pilots. Standing by. All right, let's not move you Standing yet. By. Um, I can't turn that on just yet unless I intend to use it. Let's not to give the cougar a direct target. I think it's just going to be a movement turn. Yeah, let's just make it a movement turn for this guy. Heading out. Did we just pick up somebody else? No. Point nine. Fourteen. I mean, we might as well shoot it now. We're going to be overheating very shortly, so... Anything better than that? I don't think so. It's probably 14 is going to be the best. Yeah, let's take it. Locking on it's a heat thing. I don't mind. Three, three, three points, sure. Three more than what we would have gotten. We hadn't done anything. Not going to be able to fire all our weapons every turn anyway, so... Yeah, you better hide. Waiting for orders. Uh, whatever we do, I got a feeling that that hunter is going to be like, or the, the cougar is going to be taking a shot at us. So let's get up here. Aye, aye. Get a lot of height. Make it even harder for him to hit us. Alright, 20% on this guy. Not bad, 34% on here with the tag. 28. Uzar is now not worth it. And these guys are going to be a lot lower because they haven't moved yet. Yeah, so let's just go after this guy. Hopefully we can get a lucky shot on him. Nope. That's all right. That's just the first turn. I gotta worry about these guys charging me too. That's gonna be the death of somebody. Yeah, that guy's gonna... The Zoria's gonna end up being a real problem. Hit, Commander. For the aircraft, anyway. So I guess in the past few patches that they've been releasing, I guess they um, made an error in the code somewhere and vehicles weren't dying. So we've had a few vehicles go down yes, come on, and we haven't lost them in, uh, you know, in a few of the series that I've been playing. So I thought I was just lucky, but it, it's not. It's just that they, they, it wasn't in the coding at the time. Oh, man. 
20% in the Zoria. Let's get over here. Roll to that. Put us in the trees. Forty percent in the Zoria. Uh yeah, let's go for it. Target confirmed. I think taking the highest percentage chance to hit at this point is probably the best. Oh, missed. That's all right. Just don't miss the next few. We're gonna have to like gang bang several mechs. Okay, you're going behind there. Okay. Good thing it's a pulse and not a uh, ER. Comes to Cougar. Okay, he's not doing anything, which is a good thing for us. Bandit. Yeah, we're going to be out of AMS ammo real quick. Did we just pick up another bleep? Two, four, six, eight, nine. No, nope. there's nine of them. Okay. Hey. Wait, did I hit? I thought I hit reserve on him. I guess I did not. All right, do we want to try and kill this incubus real fast here? 500 armor. It's going to rely on us doing a lot of damage. Um, where do we reserve? Who's going on 15? So the cougars or the howlers going on 15 and the miss links is going on 15. Let's let them get a little closer. Gonna camp here until I see an opening. Yeah, you do that. Hopefully that uh, Miss Lynx gives you an opening. I'm really hoping it does. Well, it's a little closer. Oh, there's oh of course. Let's start off with a head hit, because why not? Oh, this is going to be brutal. Making me waste my AMS. Orders. Gives a Zoria a shot on us. Such garbage chances to hit, man. That's marginally better. Let's get up into here. Roger that. Let's go after this guy. That's actually not bad. Hopefully we can put one right through him here. Roger that. Nice! Blew his leg completely off. Alright, take back everything I said about the Goss Rifle in the last battle. <laughs> it's great when it works. And if it doesn't work, well, it's 15 tons wasted. Okay, still going after the aircraft. I think we can probably use this to our advantage. I think I'm going to try and pull over here. And get them to try and pull, get closer to go after them. Um, let's capitalize on this. Uh, question is, is, do I get close to these guys? Well, the Howler's already gone. Cougar hasn't. I don't think the Cougar's going to move to melee me. I don't think I can hit the guy on the ground from there. I cannot. Yeah, he's on his back now, so it's like... That might be too close, though. It really is the uh, best place to be, though. Okay, let's bank on the Cougar going after the aircraft, and go. let's try and kill this uh, Miss Lynx. Let's try and get the kill on him. Um, let's go for the other... Uh, we go for the other leg of the... Oh, crap. Well, if, we if it's a Clan XL engine, taking the torso won't matter. So let's go for the leg. 
I don't know what we hit. That's going to hurt. I don't know what we hit. Far torso. Oof, almost gone too. Commander. Okay, how far can over here can you get? Pretty darn far. Let's give them something to look at. What do you say? Full speed, no target. And I wonder if we take a shot at this cougar. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think we do. Let's get his attention. Oh, that's the howler. Oof. How much armor does this guy have? Garbage. If we hit, well, hmm. Can we get the kill on this guy? That's a pretty good chance to hit. We'd have to do max damage against the leg. Damage is going to be 32 at this range. It's that torso. So let's hope we hit with the laser on that torso and the tag on the other one. It's, I know it says damage zero, but... Roger. Nope. Not even going to bail out, eh? I think we CT hit the guy. Yeah, we did. Yep, we did. Bizarre. I'll be so happy then when that guy finally makes it around and then takes a friggin' a full uh, arsenal to the face and dies like instantly. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But oh, for crying out loud! I said it before. I'm gonna say it again. Way too many head hits in this game. Like way too many. Let's get the kill. Give that guy someone someone to look at the incubus, and then we'll get the kill on this guy. Um, I think we just have to try and core him. I uh, can't use everything. Let's save the ammo. Let's go this route. Confirmed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, finally. Actually, that's probably the best uh, thing that could have happened. Because we save a lot of salvage there. The XL is going to be in the loot table now. That's pretty sweet. Ish. At least he's not shooting the Gauss rifle side. Okay. Bandit moving up. Ooh, I wonder if um, my air, my helicopter moved out of range. That is a pos... Is reserve not working? I did hit reserve on this guy and now he didn't go. Reserves fucked up. What the hell? Receiving you. It's totally messed up. I think we gotta go on this guy. What's the melee chance? Kick forty percent. I don't do this very often, but maybe we'll be getting the mineral field and try a kick on him. Leave the Gauss rifle off. I mean, or do we leave it on? Wait, he's got a leg on this side damaged, though. Oh. better chance to hit from this side. I'm going to turn the Gauss rifle off only because this guy is like on the follow through here so if we miss let's try. Position if we confirmed. miss I don't want to like completely destroy our guy Marked here. On for physical attack. Nope. Damn it. Alright one hit. He is unstable. Oh it's me I'm unstable. Never mind. 
That's bad news. Eight activations remaining because, of course... We've got to get rid of this Incubus from where it is. Let's get into here. He's got to go. Firing a full salvo. Okay, one laser. Yeah, it's twice now. Two turns in a row we've lost our uh, our turn by reserving. I just updated Rogue Tech too, so I mean, that could have been an issue. Okay, we gotta get behind this guy now. There is no saving salvage off this match. Receiving you. Um, how far can you move in a sprint here? So let's put the mask on. And you still can't move farther. I guess they can't. I guess, oh, I guess I can't get up that hill. Shit. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? my own guy. <sighs> can't turn it off this turn. Wasted it because I can't get up this damn hill. Well, Sure, let's get to here. Confirmed. Let's see if we can get a side shot in this guy. Alright, that's not bad. Um, do we want to go a little hotter? To apply some damage to him? I think we do. On it. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit warm, but that's fine. Alright, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, I think our a AMS is jammed. It's nice. Like damage, Commander. Nice amount of evasion here. Standing by. Yeah, we can't get up. God, this is such a bad position to be in. We got our back against the wall, so I'm okay here. Back against the wall. Let's get on this guy. Okay, not bad. Structure exposed. Is that probably an arm? Oh, it's torso. Nice. Okay, yeah, so they're finally getting into range of this guy. I should sick the Cyrano on the uh, Cougar, though. Mm, I don't know. Well, we are pushing these guys back a little bit, I guess. No, I think we stick on the Incubus with the Cyrano. We stick on him, try and shoot him from the same torso, or the same side. I might do an offensive push to try and push his initiative back next turn, but... Uh, I don't think it really makes that much difference. Yeah, as long as you're trying to get this guy. Actually, let's do this. Oof. Let's do that. On my way. We can kill this incubus. Then we can focus on the cougar. Let's hope we get the shot on him. Okay, tags on. I'm happy with that. Happy with that one. AMSs are on jam now. Nice. Just in time for this. Oh. Ouch. Okay, at least it was the Wavern. He's got the armor to take it. Bandit coming in. 
These ATMs are gonna start taking their toll shortly. They're already taking their toll. Orders. All right, we did get initiative. You want to chase this bandit down? No, I think we're going to go after the... We're going to go over here. I'm using him as a um, distraction for everybody else. And the, we can do the most damage to the Hussar. Lots of... Well, a bunch of AMS ammo left. Because this guy's got garbage armor. We might get lucky and pen real quick and take him down like a leg or something. 40 damage isn't bad if we can hit. I copy. Nope. Nothing. Uh. No joy. Okay. Right here. Do I want to sit tight? I gotta move. It's a back shot, though. I don't want a back shot. I want a torso shot. Okay, I want a torso shot here. I don't know how to get it, though. I, like, I don't know where. If I sit here, that's an ER large laser shot I can't afford to take. I mean, I could do... Is this guy's back armor like? 20. But I'd still rather be going after this. Like this side is so ripe for being pulled. That's just exposing myself. This is not what I want, but it might be what I have to take. That would be three chevrons of evasion for a front shot. And three of if I go there, is it? Wait. Three? Four. But I'm in the open. And easy, well, not necessarily easier to spot, but... Although I am farther away, so let's... Still, like... I might be able to get the arm. Now, I think we go for the protection of the trees and hopefully we can hit more of that torso. Alright, good amount of hits, but not what we wanted. Although he is stressed, so that helps. Yeah, thanks up thanks for the close up on the elementals that aren't doing anything in this battle. Um a little close for the Goss rifle. No matter where I go, 61% chance of the Gauss rifle on this guy for 80 damage. <sighs> Connect to the side, it's dead. Back, it's dead too. Let's take that shot. Ooh. Okay, we got our stability back. Let's hope we get it. Fingers crossed. Engaging with the target. And that was nothing. Was it not? Or did we hit the front? Probably hit the front. Because we're shooting from the side. No, we hit the turret. Because of course we did. Standing by. Alright, this guy's been causing pain for us. I better uh, turn this off. Wait, 
What? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Is that considered... Uh, does it turn it... Oh, whatever. Oh, the jump is a mistake, I think. Pull back here. Jump is a mistake because we become completely unstable. Uh, that's a massive problem with heat. Now, I don't know, whatever. But we gotta shoot this guy. We gotta, we gotta do it. Question is, do I pull this off? And go more with the SRMs. Go with Splash more than anything. We just leave that off. I can't overheat here. Let's go this way. Okay, a lot of red numbers. Okay, we destroyed his hip. Machine gun destroyed. Panicking. That's a bonus. That's a side shot, really? I want that Good side shot. I want those percentages. Let's do this. Come on, bail out. Nope. Oh, man. Really? Really? Well, we tried. I really needed that kill. We've got to free up that uh, our mechs to attack somebody else next turn. I mean, the Locust might be able to finish him next turn, and then maybe we can get everybody on the Zoria. Hope for a turret hit. We're going to be out of AMS ammo this turn. And then maybe we can finish the Cougar off. I'm being flanked. Well, at least it was just an LRM-5. Damage is minor, Commander. Yeah, we weren't fast enough to get out of this valley, and I made the mistake of thinking I could get out of that one hill. Made the mistake of thinking I could get up that one hill. When I, I should have known that, like this one right here. I should have known it because I've, I've played this map before, and I, and I knew that even then I tried to get up this hill and I couldn't do it. So I, I should have known that that was the case this guy's going to be like, Better miss. No, he's not. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Can't afford that. This guy should have been dead. Systems holding. He should have been dead. Who's going? Bandit. Too much hits. We're in a lot of trouble. Internal structure damage. Okay, well at least. At least the bandits moved to a position where we might be able to kill it this turn if we get lucky. All right, where was I? Sorry, I had to go eat dinner. Now, <laughs> ah, okay, I'm back. Now, yes, come on. we got to get on. So we were trying to kill the incubus, uh, which is here now, from that side. So if we're going to do that, we have to engage this guy at the same time, which actually might work out in our favor here. So we want to do this, field command. He's going on eight. He's got his side set up over here, so we're going to go this way now. I don't think we have a choice. No, I want to get close. 47. That's much better. All right, let's get on the thorn. Alright, we can pull this guy down and the Incubus this turn, which is probably unlikely. That's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice chance to hit. We're just going to fire everything here. Okay, stripping some armor. 
Nice structure exposed. Arm arm hit. Critical hit, Commander. All right. Yes, Commander. Let's do that. No problem. On my way. That puts us in at least away from the cougar and everything. And we are going to take a shot at this guy and hope we connect. Hopefully though we don't hit our own guy, but this guy's got to go away now. Fuck, we missed with everything. 15 tons. What do you get? So we're going on 8 too. So maybe we can push him back a turn. Bizarre. Okay. So where's the Cyrano? Right here. Hmm. Okay. It's not good. They've blown past my armor. Yep, I know. Okay, at least he decided to go indirect. It's good news for us. Except we're panicking. Getting close to wanting to pull the plug on this one, but we'll see what happens. Reporting. Six activations of bleed out remaining. Okay. Um. The chances to hit. Rah! So that's our. Left side damage, and that would be facing the enemy if we do that. This thorn. Hmm. So we go on 10, then they go on 10. When is the Cyrano going? On 10. Do they have a 9? He's already gone. He's going on 11. He's already gone. So we go, they go, we go. So somebody's got to do an offensive push on this, and I guess it's got to be the Cyrano. Because I can't, I can't go here and risk the side shot. So we're going to move back over here. And let's get a shot on this guy. Hopefully we hit. Wilco. Nice. So it's an LRM-5 gun, I think. Medium oh, laser. We're down a mech. How do Oh my god, really? You're just gonna bail out, are ya? Gonna score a really good hit, and then you're just gonna friggin' bail out on us. Waiting for orders. All right, we're gonna have to take a. Uh... Aye, aye. Damn it! Yep. Well, we gotta do this. We gotta try and push this guy back a turn so we can go before him. Uh, let's go after the leg. Target acquired. No, he lost initiative though, which is good. Missed. Okay, you. I'm here. Okay, mask is off now. This puts us in a friggin' visual range, though. Doesn't matter what we do. We are in trouble! Our left side is severely damaged already. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter how much we turn, though. Um, let's jump first, then we'll vigilance. I call me. Heat's still killing us in this mech. Still killing us. Yeah, we gotta go... Um, 
as much splash as possible and hopefully we hit as much as possible. All right, see what we get. Okay, not bad. Large pulse is gone, at least. Still in a very precarious situation here. Okay. Thorn's turn. Right here. We're shooting back into our own guys, but we don't really have a choice. We're behind the hill, Moving so we're okay. Position. Let's get some stability back. We gotta pull this guy down. We can get him out of our ranks. It's really gonna help us out here. Okay, good damage. Ready for orders. Should be able to get you behind. Nice. Jumping. Okay, we'll do this. Um, and yeah, I think we go with all that again. Mm, uh, how hot is the large pulse here? I want to go with the bigger hits, 13 damage. I think so. Let's try it this way with the better chance to hit. I copy. Okay. Yep. All right. Reporting. Critical hit. Right torso. Commander. Let's get some height. Give those guys oh, no. somebody to shoot for. Same thing. See if we can get rid of this guy. On nice. Okay. Tango down. Two down. Two for one. It's not a good trade. Not a good trade at all. Where are you going? Okay, you are taking the bait. Serino doesn't have much time left. Took a hard hit there. Yep, I know. Just hold on. So this guy, I mean, depending on whether who's our goes, we might be able to get a shot at him with the Gauss Rifle this turn. One hit could be a kill on him. He's up on the hill. Okay. So if we can pull back and get a kill on him. Howler's going to be a threat if he decides to Ready melee. Let's back it up. All right, pray we land the shot. Nice. Doesn't help, but at least we took off his side. We might be able to get the kill next turn. Yeah, man, that's nice. Depends on how fast he is. Or this turn, I guess it is. Yeah. Okay, at least those were misses. Alright, the more you miss, the better off we are. Okay, now. Um, yes, Commander. Still gotta be the Hussar, I think. Can we get a... get there. We're still kind of behind the hill, which is nice. Keep working on this guy if we okay, can hit that torso. Okay, there it goes. So it's got a clan XL then, I guess. Dude's bleeding out. That's the incubus. So, did we get his large? We did, didn't we? 
We did. So he's got two mediums left, which are still bad. Commander. Let's move a little bit. Heading out. One at a time. One at a time. We gotta get this guy out of here. Damn it! Fucking 15 tons. <sighs> Reporting negative damage. I had taken 25. Hopefully this cougar runs out of uh, ammo for those LRMs. Okay, the howler. Alright, what are you doing? Retreating. Still shooting though. Where did you go? Oh, down in here. You've switched your sides on us. Receiving you. Uh, but not enough for this guy not to get a shot at you. Here we go. Acknowledged. Okay, we'll take the shot. Affirmative. Ah! This is bad, this is bad, this is very, very bad. That guy's gonna land an AC round sooner or later. Slowly losing armor on this guy. Commander. Alright, who are we shooting for? Let's just rotate and see what we got here. So 18. We could take the torso if we hit. So that's a possibility. 12 in the howler. No thank you. LRM is marked as down, but it could be um, jammed. As weird as it sounds. 23 on this guy. 14. I think we take the chance and try and get the torso off this guy. See what happens. Roger. Come on, there we go. Is he gonna bail? Scored a critical hit. No. Okay. Dropped our heat, which is good, which means we can unload on somebody next turn. Okay, at least he's backing up to shoot. Who's up? They got two on 19, eh? Who's are and who? What are you doing? Um, I'm finding that confusing. Damage minimal. Did you just run into the midst of us and then shoot at a guy that's like across the map? Standing by. Apparently. That was deliberate. I'll try. That should take care of this guy, I hope. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nice. Standing by. That was a gimme. That wasn't me at all. That was just a gimme. Alright, so see if we can get our back armor. Back armor. Facing some of these ranged guys. Moving to position. It won't matter if the cougar decides to turn and shoot at us. We could be in a lot of trouble, but I want to try and finish this guy off if we can. Yeah, tags on. Ah, uh, so many misses. All right, shoot the locust. Howler. I don't know if he's jammed or what's going on with him. 
He could be. I, mean, I don't doubt he's out of ammo. He's only got an LRM-5. Maybe it is. Maybe he didn't have very much ammo. Yes, Commander. I can't see that being the case, but it's possible. Oof. Do I want to get a shot in that bandit from behind? Or do we want to try shooting... I don't think we want to expose. That's the problem. I can't expose to too many mechs at once. We could take a shot at this guy, though. That's our right side, isn't it? This is the Gauss rifle side. Is it or this side is? Left side's the Gauss rifle. Okay. Confirmed. Never mind turning the right to him then, I guess. That's not bad. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, he's not dead. Why do I open my mouth? How many times does that happen, honestly? Alright. Oof. Yeah. Ooh! No! No! We are all doomed. Yep. I realize my mistake now. Ah! Uh, what did I say? That guy was going to land a shot. Fire. It was just a matter of time. Standing by. I realize what I did, though. That was not a good thing. I don't want the howler. I want the cougar, but I can't get it. Okay, it's back up here. Acknowledged. We'll see what our percentage chance to hit is. You know what? I don't think it really matters. We've got to shoot the LRMs. So 16 on the Cougar. Eight, 18 on this guy. We might get a hit on the top. Confirmed. We're not going to be able to fire these um, LRMs when we close anyway because it's just the heat. We'll have to drop one weapon, so we might as well use up the ammo on this for now. One less thing that can explode. So the Cougar and the Bandit. Getting more accurate. Of course we didn't really have much evasion this turn. God damn, that bandit could just dart in and wreck us at any point. But I need evasion too. Gotta get on this cougar. Here we go. Engaging. Nothing. That didn't hit. We hadn't drew the two lances. Right we hadn't drew the two lances. We gotta get on this guy now. We gotta push him. We gotta push all of these guys. Okay. Orders. Our uh, thing is still at. Uh, and of course, we got flames on the way. No flames there, though. Understood. Moving fast. Okay. 
Okay. Garbage. Leave that off for now. Let's keep our heat low so we can get a good alpha strike on this guy. Okay, two hits, three hits. All right, not bad. That's actually pretty good for that percentage. We'll take it. He's backing up again, but he's still gonna shoot, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yep, he is. Good thing he didn't close. Okay, Locust is up first. Nope. Well, for us he is. Power's just out of ammo. Elemental's got no speed. That's some good leg damage. Standing by. Do we risk it? I think we gotta. On my way. I think we gotta do it. Ah, yeah. oh, for. Me. Figure. Okay, good laser damage though. Here comes the alpha strike. Nope. Alpha strike just not in the guy I thought it was. Reporting. Heavy damage. Just don't friggin' bail out. That guy might be out of ammo now. Because that was not nine missiles. Gotta walk it, get our stability back. Cannot be... Cannot be unstable. Okay, we hit, did mostly arm damage on this guy rather than leg damage. Fucking 15 tons of wasted fucking space! Ah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm here. How close can we get? Mask is at 30 still at 30%. Let's get to here. All right. Full speed. I can't throw it on because if it if it malfunctions and wrecks my leg movement, I'm screwed. Um Do I alpha this guy? I think we gotta. I think this has been the best chance to hit we've had, so let's take it. Let's hit him hard. Yes, Commander. Freaking bandit is scaring the shit out of me, but I think we gotta try the same thing. I think we gotta go the same way. I can pull this guy down. But nice leg kick. Okay. Come on, finish up. Okay, leg hit. Two leg. Yep, there it goes. And this and the arm. Bail out, please. Just bail out. Bail out, bail out. Bail out, bail out. Nope. He's bleeding now. Waiting for orders. Seventy-eight. 87. Let's get into here. Affirmative. Okay, do we go for the core or do we just go for... I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk... I'm going to try for a kill. we got to get rid of this guy. Good. Yeah. Get I'm sad we lost salvage off that, but I'm glad he's gone because now it's going to make things a little easier on us. Interested to see where the bandit's at with ammo. Ready for orders. I'm going to get in the trees here and we'll drop an LRM strike. So our left side is primarily damaged, so we're going to turn more to the right Attention towards confirmed. the Zoria. So if this bandit is out of ammo, 
we're good to go, and if it's not out of ammo, then we're in trouble still. Okay, a couple hits in the Zoria. Okay, a few more, it looks like on the turret. Bail out. Nope. I'm out of LRMs. It's fine though. You don't have the heat sinking to handle them anyway. Nope, he's still got ammo. He's probably out of HE ammo. Yeah, it doesn't got much left in the turret, but... It's the LBX I'm more worried about than the LRMs. All we need to just... There's a one small turret hit. Question is, do I rush this guy? I mean, we could just rush him and hope we get the head hit. Or the uh, turret hit. I mean, do we do it? We're still okay with armor. Still okay with armor. Maybe we can get him. Maybe we can panic him. That's really good chances to hit. Let's take it. Not enough. Standing by. What about you? Can you get a shot at him? From anywhere? Nope, you can't. Do that though. Good chance to hit. We're taking it. Confirmed. Fail to connect. That's the Zoria again. Glad I stood in the trees. Damage minimal. See what this bandit does. So the howler still got no weapon. Running around with a chicken like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay, you didn't move very far, which is beneficial to us, but bad. Yeah, so he's got regular ammo left. Reporting. Critical hit. Yeah, I got double heat sinks. So I'm not worried about you losing heat sinks. So we're not going to be able to get the Zoria. So we're going to have to go after that guy. Let's get to here. I copy. Don't know what our heat's going to be like. Okay, not too bad. I think we got to go with everything though. Okay, good damage. Still got so much armor. Standing by. So. so if we do an offensive push, I think this guy might be stuck here. Wait, how much armor has he got left in the back? 18? Two with the on the turret. All we need is one hit in the turret with 24% though. At 72% chance to hit, or we just shoot everything and we kill him. I think we just shoot everything and kill him. That should do it, yep. Okay. Target pacified. Receiving you. Yeah, we gotta make sure he keeps shooting your You got an XL engine, so we got to give him your right side now. Yeah, these mechs have got XLs, so we got serious problems if they penetrate. Copy that. Nice hit. Nice. Finally landed. But hit the side though, right? Perfect. Okay, good. Orders. Just push him. I'm gonna walk it. Confirmed. Get our stability back. And hammer him. Come on, come on, come on. Side, side. We exposed the structure, but I think we did a lot of damage to the front and back. Yeah, a little bit of damage. I hate seeing those red numbers. I'm taking internal damage. Yeah. Orders. 
Yeah, and you got your CT too. Let's get over here. Confirm the vigilance and we'll end our turn. Yes, Commander. Time to be a hero. Time to be a freaking hero. I, I'm kind of really happy I pulled that medium mech off or medium laser off this thing and added more to armor. Nice. That should clinch it for us. So they got an elemental which can't even reach us and a mech with no weapons. If he decides to turn himself into a bullet, we're in trouble. Other than that, we should be able to handle this. Man, this could have been... It's still really bad. This guy's so fast, right? Commander. Nah, we can't even give him a shot at us. So we gotta stay at range. Let's get her over here. On the move. Full speed. Standing by. Field command. Copy. Let's get up close to him. Because at least that way, if he decides to charge, it'll minimize the amount of damage he can do to us. Targeting for an we might be able to threaten him to bail out, too, if we get enough hits on him. Alright. I'm here. I copy. So the guy's got SRMs. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have hard gel too. But let's just get them. Nice. Right here. Okay, where do we hit? That side. On my way. Shoot him! Copy that, firing up right. Standing by. Um... Left side. At this range, hopefully if he turns himself into a bullet, he'll only be able to hit the left side, but... Engaging with target. Yeah, wasn't expecting much there. Negative damage. All right, keep shooting these guys. Just a matter of time now. Hard gel can't last forever. Or maybe it can. Yes, Commander. Uh, what side is where? We want the far side. There we go. Yeah, this should be a surrender for them, but they're the clan, so they're not going to surrender. Come on, finish up that howler so he can get over here and help me finish this guy off. Can make me stand on fire, are you? Yes, Commander. Um, let's get back here. Stay away from the howler. Let's see if we can get the gauss rifle on these elementals. Ready for orders. Roger. Keep my eye on him too. Yeah, I'm fine with firing at all. Engaging with Tom. Slowly getting there. Target's taking a critical hit. 
Right here. Yeah, they're working very hard at making the uh, power ar ar power armor relevant, but still needs work. There. I like the idea that of them being able to ride mechs, but until they get it to the point where it's like they're actually riding them all the time and Ready doing it order. efficiently, then it's like it's almost not even worth it. So wait, we need to put our left side to that guy. Move order received. Just in case he shoots. We wanna shoot this guy. Or this guy. This guy probably. Affirmative. Ooh, nice. Unit destroyed. Said two units destroyed, Critical but hit, Commander. I think it's only one. Nope. Yep, it's one. They're nice, they disappear off the map too. Standing by. Once again, kudos to the Rogue Tech team, man. You guys are just amazing. Firing. Firing. Slowly but surely. They're gonna run out of hard gel. Waiting for orders. At some point. Keep trying. Oh, another one gone. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. This guy's like, fuck! <laughs> Standing by. Couldn't do that earlier, huh? Well Couldn't do it done. when we really needed those shots. Like before our pilot ejected and our chopper got oh. shot down. Although I realized what I did with the Cyrano, if you guys don't know, I put my back to them thinking, oh, okay, good, back armor. But then it, it, it negates the any uh, evasion they had. So they were able to hit me easier. So although my back armor was full, they were able to pen it, pen me without a problem, so. I don't know. It seems like these elementals are almost danger close, but I can't really, I don't know for sure. Um, let's hit him with everything. Confirm. All right, Mr. Howler Monkey, what are you doing? Still gonna jump, probably. Ah, oh, there's another knockdown. I wonder if that'll kill him. Yep, beautiful. So he lost one from falling before, I think, and then... Yes, Commander. Field command. Get your ass over here. I need your help. Those Run pulse lasers that. on these guys. Okay, I can't believe we pulled this off. I know I shouldn't jinx it. These guys just don't have the juice. Receiving you. There's still um locking in I don't know. Like you their elementals are so situational, right? They're so, like, right now they're still, to me, very battlefield useless. Taking the shot. I only got one more Gauss round left. Standing by. Get up the hill here. Confirm. I feel like we're too danger close now. We gotta back up. Uh, let's turn that off so we can still at least move. Firing. All right, we panned out one. Right here. Come on, oh. baby. Let's finish these guys up. Okay, firing everything. Couldn't hit that guy that I penned before, huh? I'm here. Get up the hill. Not shoot the back. Guess we have to. All right. Here we go. Just shooting fresh armor at this point. Let's go with the large. Yeah. Negative damage. Like it's just so painful. Oof. Reporting. Critical hit. Finally doing something. Aye, aye. Let's uh, get it back over here. <laughs> I'm 
machine guns against here is a bad time. <laughs> we'll just stay over here. That's just a bad time. Yes, Commander. Let's finish All these guys right. up. Come on, Bubba. They don't got much Coffee. left. They still got lots of cheat armor, though, so let's get that down. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Digging in. Yep. Attacking from position. Oh my god, just fucking die already. Scored a critical hit. Got two. Standing by. Just in case we're still here forever. Copy that firing out of strike. There we go. Finally. Wasted. Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of here. Mission successful. Yeah, so that could have gone a lot worse. I think it's going to cost us more than 91k to get this stuff fixed, though. Oh, what do we lose on you? Just the, the uh, yeah, the hand. Foot. That was from the machine gun burst at the end. You lost a few things. Double heat sink, we got, we can replace that. So not so bad. You, We lost ahead of this guy. I guess this was the best case scenario. This pilot bailing out. Because it saved the mech pretty much. And all the all the stuff in the head is all standard stuff. So this all gets, goes back to normal. And this mech was fine. Now the only question is, is do we lose the Cyrano? Oh, it was a turret hit. It was a turret hit. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it was a back armor hit, but it wasn't. <sighs> interesting. Well, not turret, but the uh, prop hit. Turbine, I guess you could call it. All right, so only one cougar part, unfortunately. Two mislinks. Uh, one thorn part. So three parts of Azoria. That's interesting. That might actually be worth it. But let's see what else is down here so we can trade out some stuff on our mechs. Uh, so we got some clan LRMs. A couple of clan cockpits. Clan Endo, which is okay. Clan XL, we're going to take. 270 core is not bad, but we'll leave that for now. Artemis system. Do we have anybody that we can turn into a missile mech? I mean, the Wavern, maybe. But do we want to? That's the question. Ferrofibrous we can use on pretty much all of our guys, I think. I can't remember if we got Ferro in the Clan Waver, and so we got double heatsink kits here. Regular double heatsinks. I mean, maybe we grab... I know the Clan double heatsink kits are better, but finding the double heatsinks for them is, has been, in my experience, a lot harder. So if we go with regular double heat sinks, we've got like what ten of these still? How many do we have? We have zero. Oh, these are clan double heat sinks. Oh, I just saw heat sink double. I didn't see the C here. I'm gonna throw these guys there for now. And I'm thinking that's probably like I mean I could throw another double heat sink kit in there too. In case we lose one. They're so expensive, right? As much as I want some of the other stuff, I'm thinking that this is probably... There's not a lot of weapons here. These would be really nice for the um, the duelist, but we're not going to be... I don't think we're going to be trading stuff with him, so... Alright, let's go this route and see how we do. Alright, the Cyrano got destroyed. Well, we've got the Hunter, so we can bring the Hunter forward. We're going to have to do that for a vehicle. Two parts of a Hazar. Elementals. I'm going to hold on to the Elemental parts. LRM5, Case, Cockpit Clan. 270 core, which isn't bad. These we, we chose. We got an extra double heatsink kit, which is nice. Uh, some jump jets, which we'll hold on to for now. An Omni part arm we'll hold on to. This one can go. AP ammo and regular half ton of ammo for the heavy machine guns will hold on to. So, I mean, okay, it's a moderate roll. Not too, too bad, I guess. Alright, well, not much we can do about that. 
The first big loss, 91000 So, I mean, it did cover our repairs, the money that we made. So that's not too bad. We really didn't lose too much then. I mean, we're still hovering over 300000 which is, or sorry, $3 million, which is really nice. We manage our tasks here. So the Sentinel is going to take the most amount of time to come back. So let's put that up at the top. Uh, let's put the Wavern in there, then the Locust and the Thorn. I'm going to take a look at the mechs in between episodes. We're going to go through the financial report um, to see if we can get another duelist mission for the next episode. Actually, let's look at the command center now because there might be one there after that the mission. Chair. There is not. Fair enough. They'll restock at the end of the month anyway, so I'll see what I can do tweak-wise with the gear that we just picked up. It's not a lot. I mean, maybe we change some of the heatsink kits around or something. I don't know. But probably not. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll get things tweaked up between episodes and um, well, we'll end this one here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And if you haven't seen The Duelist, go check that one out as well. Until next time, we'll see you later.